Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fire channel. Um, here today with a, um, a quick review of a book that I've um, recently read and uh, some viewers to my channel have sh expressed uh, an interest in. So here we go, the book I'm reviewing is The History of or the History of the World in 100 Pandemics, Plagues and Epidemics. And it's written by Paul Crystal. And it's published by Pen and Sword Books. Um, it's a decent sized book. Uh, it comes in hardback. And um, it's, but this copy is priced at £25. That's British pounds. Um, so the book, it's literally 100, pay, uh, 100 pandemics, plagues and epidemics. Each one takes up a chapter in the book, so um, we've got like 60 odd um, different chapters, each concentrating on various plagues. Some of them kind of um, cover more than one chapter as well, because you've got quite a few uh, plagues that come round three or four times in various parts of the world or around the globe. And in my opinion, this is a really interesting book. Um, I know especially at this time when everyone's trying to cope with COVID and we're, we're all trying to get vaccinated or maybe some of us aren't. Um, but it, it is really interesting and it shows you how, I think when you look through the book, I'm not sure there's many years since... 500 BC where there hasn't been a some sort of plague epidemic or some sort of disease going around the world that might have been contagious in some form um, the book starts from I'll just tell you it's it's around here we go. The first one is um, Prehistory, Plague in the Neolithic Age, the Classical Period and the Byza Byzantium Era. So we're looking at starting around about the... Um, the first one here is the Plague of Athens in 430 BC. And then the next one is the Antonine Plague, AD 165 to 180. And then, obviously, you know, each chapter then goes through the play, um, various plagues and pandemics. So, I mean, each chapter is about, they range from about three pages, depending on how large the plague was, up to about the 10 to 15. Um, obviously, things like COVID and some of the really big name type um, plagues or pandemics, uh, they're bigger chapters because it's more information. Um, but then go through to the Middle Ages. You've got Black, uh, Bubonic Plague, the Black Death. Um, there's one called Dancing to Death, Sweating Sickness. And these are all kind of... It's like a, if you look at an atlas and imagine the, um, the plays kind of go right round the world kind of in order almost in order. So um, you start off from the Asian type plagues and diseases and there's a big concentration in the Middle East and then Africa. And then surprisingly, or I thought it was surprising that there's quite a few plagues and pandemics that have occurred in the Americas as well. But um, each chapter looks at each plague, kind of where it came from or where they think, think it came from, um, who people were tending to blame at the time for spreading the diseases, and really it looked at how society then, back then, um, coped with the diseases, and what they tried to do to sort things out. Although in most cases it involved just, there wasn't really much they could do. Did, could do. Um, it just involved people catching it and then eventually they'd all die off. 
sadly. But um, it is a quite surprising now that we're kind of living through COVID. How many um, of the things we're having to do now to deal with COVID would have done well in previous um, plagues and diseases in time. For example, you know, keeping your distance away from each other, wearing a mask so that you're not um, spreading it orally, and then um, things like keeping yourself fit and clean. So all the advice they're kind of dishing out now would also have applied sort of five or six hundred years ago. So um, it's really good book. Um, I've learned a lot about different pandemics, plagues and diseases and how they spread, whether from animal to human or whether it's just seemingly from human, between humans and humans. Um, yeah, it's a really good book. And um, also the book's very well written and the author also t at the back of the book has come up with his own like opinions and that sort of thing from or what he thinks should the, the something like the World Health Organization and those that are in charge of countries and that what they should be doing in order to stamp out these diseases much more quicker and that sort of thing so he offers his advice after doing his research from doing all these um, plagues and pandemics but um, it's a decent sized book it was easy to read um, I read it in about three or four days and it was quite interesting and I don't normally do things like you know plagues and that so um, I would give this sort of a four and a half maybe five stars out of five it's it is really good and so I would wholeheartedly recommend it. So there we go. That's um, the history of the world in 100 pandemics, plagues and epidemics. And that's written by Paul Crystal, a very good writer. And it's also published by Pen and Sword Books, priced at 25 Great British Pounds. So thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll do another couple of reviews this week and hopefully you'll be able to watch them. So thank you very much for watching this one and if you haven't already um, please subscribe to the channel for more and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much.